Hey everybody, it is Lilkinspin81 here on Sunday for week two of seven Webbykins. This week's theme is a five minute Webkin skit, so I'm going to like make something up at the top of my head and I have no idea if it'll be five minutes or, lot or not. It might be shorter. Um, also, before I get started on my lovely skit, I just want to let you know that any noise you hear in the background is actually my friend. He's gaming with his friends and he's being obnoxiously loud, so. <laughs> Um, let's get started with this really random thing. Also, today's lovely little skit will be narrated by, well, me, but by, um, my Rainbow Armadillo, Arizona. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to make this kind of funny and random. Okay, let's get started. Once upon a time, there was a very strange family who lived in the place where Webkins live. In this wonderful family was a pig by the name of King George, a marshmallow bunny by the name of Queen Daffodil, and their beautiful daughter, a lovely Holland Lop bunny by the name of Nibbles. On her 18th birthday, her parents summoned her. Yes, mother. Yes, father. What can I do for you? Darling, as you know, it is your 18th birthday. Yes, I know, Mom. I have it marked on my calendar. Like I was saying, it is your 18th birthday. And, as you know, all princesses have to be married so they can become beautiful queens when they are 18. OMG, Mom, you can't just make me get married. I'm trying to be a teenager. Yes, well, your teenager days are over. Ugh, you cannot just set me up in a marriage. This is so unfair. Princess Nibbles did not like this idea, so she decided she was going to run away from home. This is so unfair. You are the worst parents ever. I'm running away from home. Don't come looking for me because you won't find me. The princess had a beautiful servant friend whose name was Justine. She came to her and decided to tell her about her plan. We have to run away. What? Why are we running away? I have a beautiful home here in the castle. Yeah, well, try thinking about this. My parents are setting me up. They think an arranged marriage when I'm 18 is the way to go. I'm 18. I'm in my rebel stage. Clearly, I need to run away. Oh, right. I did not think about that. How long are we running away for? Um, that's a good question. Just until I decide that I'm not really all that mad about it and I decide to go with the arranged marriage anyway. Eventually, I will grow out of my rebel stage. Maybe a month. So once they had decided that they would run away for a month, they packed and ran away. But little did the princess know, her future husband was also in a rebellious stage. I cannot believe that you two want me to marry some stupid princess. I bet she's probably a hippo. She is not a hippo, and don't talk that way to us. We are your parents. In the feline part of the Webkin's world, there was a young prince named Aaron, whose parents, King Clarence, and Queen Skittles were trying to also approach him about his future bride. Uh, but I don't want to be king. Uh, where did we go wrong in raising you? All princes are supposed to be excited to be king. Yes, you need to marry this princess and take over as king so that I can retire. Absolutely not. I am running away. Just like Princess Nibbles, Prince Aaron went to his servant friend, Mr. Mistopheles, and they decided they were going to run away for a month. But who would have known that here, at this exact spot, the prince and the princess would meet? They are so unfair. I know. We have to make sure that you do not get married. Yes, at least until I'm in the... Who is this? I will never become king, at least not while I'm in the rebel stick. Who is this? Who are you? I... I'm... My name is Princess Nibbles. Who are you? My name is Prince Aaron. I'm running away from my parents for a month until I'm out of my rebel stage and I agree to marry whatever stupid princess they decide I have to marry. Hey, I'm 18 too, and I'm also in my rebel stage, and I'm also running away from my parents because I don't want to marry some stupid prince and become a queen. What a coincidence. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I have never had such a great time. Hey, what if that's the princess you're supposed to marry? Hey, what if that's the prince you're supposed to marry? There was a villager who came by and recognized the two royals. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hail to the princess. Hail to the prince. What does he want? Oh, 
You two have met? The wedding's already going on? I, I didn't mean to intrude. Um, what wedding? Um, you two are supposed to be married, don't you know? They arranged for you to be married. I'm supposed to marry her? I'm supposed to marry him? Yes, you didn't know? Oh, this is so romantic! Um, the prince and the princess realized they were deeply in love. You know how these fairy tales go. They're so ridiculous. I think I love you. I think I love you too. Come back with me to my kingdom. I will get out of my rebel stage and we can be together forever. I, I, I would love to. I'll be your queen. Oh, how romantic. Oh, I hope something like this happens to me. Will you? Will you? No. Oh, okay. So Prince Aaron and Princess Nibbles got married. They fulfilled their parents' wish and they became the king and the queen of the land. And now I, your faithful storyteller, will escape before the new queen and king have me arrested for being a creepy storyteller who intrudes on their life. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I think I better go.